What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. You wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors, and I want to be in the Tag Team Money in the Bank ladder match. Tag Team? Money in the Bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touche. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. <laughs> Speaking of, do you have a partner? No. But I'm looking for one. Interesting. Because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do. Winning the tag team titles. Not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash. A former and future champion. With an up-and-coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you, but experience isn't everything. Maybe, but it's a lot. And if you do decide you'd be interested in teaming up, I'd be happy to let my experience help us both in the ring. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own? I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing backup to someone else in my previous tag teams. 
I may not have a tag team history here, but with my family's legacy, I can certainly relate to that. I thought you might. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, let me know. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Fanny! I thought you were still at NXT! But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles! I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly, I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place. Wanting it so badly, I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I know. I'll get back to you. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah... I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? I want to tag with someone who's going to leave it all out there on the mat whose raw ambition matches mine. I've made my decision. I'm asking Fanny to be my tag partner. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Good Girls. From Atlanta, Georgia, the player Dave Hart Fry. Blessed with natural ability and a Guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. Superstar looks to finish on top in this one. Always dialed up to 100, it's May Lee Fan. And her partner from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Mainly Fanny Bang. 
take a look at the talent in competition here, you can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. Put your hair up and square up. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. It's the indie veteran, Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. Josie Jane, believe it or not, is yet another one of Riley Flash's graduates from his wrestling academy in Calgary. That's too bad. I was actually starting to like her. Josie Jane looks ready to prove she belongs here in WWE. The road to the first ever WWE Tag Team Money in the Bank match begins right here on SmackDown. The brand new rookie and her brand new partner are kicking things off in a qualifying match against Tough as Nails veterans Sonya Deville and Josie Dane. I'll be watching to see if Justine's knees can keep her momentum going here after that big win against David Moreno. Crashing down with the senton. Big elbow drop. Elbow drop. Turn your lights out. And Sonya avoids that one. Wicked kick to the face. Sonya's lost any momentum here. Sonya keeps getting cut down. From the top. Whoa. High risk. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Elbow drop. Piercing. Big elbow drop. Escape just in time. Tagged in. Watch her set up in the corner. Maylee catches her by surprise. Kick right on point. Spear! Man, earth shattering. No way. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Right, Russian leg sweep. <laughs> Reversal on DeVille. Four in the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Tag made, tag. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Fighting back for the counter. Oh, a spike DDT. Thing. 
your back. What a beautiful swan time. Things taking a turn for her now. Ooh, the forearm connects. And Maley is showing off her skills. A smothering offense from Maley here. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. She's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. This combo is out of this world, Cole. The Lunar Combo! Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? May Lee was right on target. Hoist it up. Oh, he right to the face. This is troublesome, Bert Deville. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. Well, this pair certainly has something to celebrate, qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in their... What was that? Someone said help! Oh, my God! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Oh, well, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. Uh, hold on. Uh. Can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team Money in the Bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me, too. Finally figured out who to partner with, and now they're not even cleared to compete. Such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah, yes, your new best friend, Molly. She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine, you're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler. No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the Brawl to End It All in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere and opportunities dried up. The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering, you know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. 
If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the money in the bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three. Seriously? You? Yes! Me! What can I say? I'm a winner, baby! Molly, come on! I can't work with her! What about the stuff you said when you were asking to be put into this match? About tag teams being thrown together at the last minute? Not even liking each other? This seems pretty standard for WWE, if I'm being honest. But what about the stuff you said about picking my tag team partner carefully? Don't use my own words against me. That's what I was trying to do to you. <sighs> anyway, there's no need to argue. This has been decided. And I, for one, am very excited to find out whether the two of you can coexist. Won't be a problem for me. I don't believe that for a second. You probably cheated to win the fatal four-way in the first place. Cool it. Don't forget, if you two set your differences aside and pull this thing off, you both win. And so you guys don't blow it and embarrass me, I've set up a training session before the actual Money in the Bank match. You can work out your issues and also practice your ladder climbing abilities. Meet me at the PC. You know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I'll get the pin. I'm not leaving this up to you. Fine, go for it.
Where'd Trish go? Certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the Money in the Bank match, okay? Fine. We both want to win. Maybe that's enough common ground between us. Maybe. Listen, I know I'm biased in terms of what outcome I'd like to see tonight, but I can't get over the fact that we're previewing a women's tag team Money in the Bank match. Women didn't even have a regular Money in the Bank match until 2017. Boy, what I would give to compete. But since I can't, I will say that my niece has been putting in the work. I will admit she's not with the partner I hoped she would be competing with, but as they say, you win some, you lose some. In any event, it'll be an interesting evening. And I'm sure the tag champs will be watching carefully. This wrestler grew up in the business and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following is a triple threat tag team ladder match. Making her way to the ring, representing the good girls. From Atlanta, Georgia, the player came for Fry. No surprise given her pedigree, but this superstar brings a very well-rounded skill set to WWE. It's almost like spending your childhood learning from a legend has some upside. ready to make a statement. It'll come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated yeah, matches it. ever. Ava Moreno is going to pull out. Well, here comes the corrupted superhero. Well, I often wonder, does Nikki even want to try to find the right path? Eh, probably not. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A. Inspirational or delusional? 
I say inspirational, motivational, impactful. How should he not be a fan of Nikki A.S.H.? Easy. She's delusional. Such a Debbie Downer. What does almost a superhero mean? It means you don't need superpowers to be a superhero. You can be a superhero by just doing the right thing, by just trying your best, Michael. So if you left the commentary desk, would that make you a superhero, Saxon? Because that's the right thing. That's a bad example, Corey. Hey, guys, you ready for some flex appeal? Brooke always ready to get it on, whether it's 24-7 title or not. Listen, Dana's sick of not being respected, so she's not out here to play any games. Well, Dana's got the attitude. She's got the strength. She just needs to put it all together. But Dana Brooke has unwavering fighting spirit. Just never backs down, and I think this, this could be her year. Well, that's a bold statement, Saxton, but one thing's for sure. You can't take DB lightly. She is a serious threat. She always brings her best effort and creates her own opportunities. Get ready for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman. And representing the Judgment Day. From Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. You can tell a lot about a person by the company they keep, and Ripley is in company with true evil. No, 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 no. Ripley is simply realizing what it takes to reach the top. Yeah. A complete disregard for the rules. A complete lack of morality. The nightmare is real. And it just got a lot more frightening. Call her the nightmare, call her the eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. Excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shazi. Well, Shazi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Oh, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. It's time for WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible. Almost makes me want to climb up that ladder myself. Nobody wants to see that, Saxton, especially with three incredible teams vying to make history, including the unlikeliest of them all, Ava Moreno and her partner. One of these teams will etch their names in the record books while earning a chance at tag team gold. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. And a gut buster. Nice. Now, ah, there's a springboard into a boom You gotta be kidding me! Beautiful. Absolutely throwing all caution 
under the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Down right on the net. Coming back in the ring. Positioning the ladder in the center of the ring. I guess the only thing left to do is climb it. Setting it up on the ring apron. And I can tell you that's a dangerous spot right there, Corey. Heading up the ladder. Trying to take a victory here. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Go ahead. Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. She wants to be here. Release back suplex. Ouch. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Ooh, what a four on club. Go for the ride. The fallaway slam. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, man. I'm like that guy. Cuts at the side with a thoughtful purpose. This has all the makings of a serious injury. Oh, she lands it from high above. Looks to me like they're both in a bad way here, guys. That offense taking a toll on her. Getting back into the ring. Byron looks like that ladder is perfectly placed. Yeah, you can't ask for a much better spot than that. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's going to happen. She's got a hold of it. Hey, you missed it. Some of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah, but when you miss a shot, you don't usually fall 15 feet. Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Now you just gotta climb. Oh, uh, working on the arm. Oh, nice slam! What distance? Set crashing to the floor. Oh, the ladder! She's setting it up right in the middle of the ring. Right under the prize. Perfect. She will wisely return to the ring now. To the outside. This could get wild. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Reversal on top of reversal. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Oh, it. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Place 
using the ladder in the corner. Clearly setting it up for something. Contract. We'll see. 